I'm Tegan. I'm selling some of my art here. Um, a lot of handmade stuff. Most of it is made out of plastic-based clay and then painted with acrylic paint. Um, yeah. This is my first year. I've done it for the past Oh, so we have today we have sweet Italian and My name is Arthur Snow, Snow Place Farm. We bought we over on Goodrich Street in Lunenburg, about 721. We started two years ago. Um, this is our second full season of farming. We're doing all non-GMO, non-chemical, no insecticides or herbicides. And uh, we're just trying to make healthy food for our neighbors and for our family. And uh, most of our stuff is heirloom. It's my wife, Kira, and our three children. <laughs> we're just uh, doing what we can to try and keep things good and healthy. Okay. Uh, we, this is our first season at the farmer's market. So this is our, this is our third, third Sunday at the farmer's market. It's been good. It's been getting really busy. We've had a lot of regular customers coming back. We also have a roadside stand on our house on the weekends. And we do. Uh, we have ducks and chickens and goats right now. And we'll probably eventually expand to cows. Do the whole thing down the road. We, uh, we moved to Lunenburg in 2013. And we, we bought the house with the mission of making a farm out of it. It was a farm back in 1832, so we're reclaiming the land. It's fun. It's nice. Cucumber that's kind of similar to melons. It's native to Mexico. It's good. It's different. Very different. We like to try different. Um, on our farm. We do a lot of heirlooms. That's cool. Yeah. And no chemicals. We're over on Goodrich Street, actually. Oh. If you want a card, feel free to take one. Oh, sure. um, hey, Damien, you want to come to our stand? <laughs> no, you have to no. sell syrup. <laughs> um, but we do all heirlooms. We don't spray. We don't do GMOs. Um, we, Chemical free, we just mm -hmm. Yeah, we're really committed to that. Um, Damien, what, what you doing? Those There's are sour cherries for baking or for preserves and pies. And really good. Meat. They're great over like ice cream, if you cook them down. Um, Originally, I'm from Vermont. Uh, I used to do this when I was in school. Uh, then the guys I worked with in Fitchburg, 3 to 11, they came up with the name uh, Big Ed Fred, and they told me to go with this for maple syrup. So to give them credit for uh, coming up with the name and everything, I used, as you can see, I used our badge as a focal point, and then my girlfriend had a character drawn of me. Uh, part of the Big Head Fred. I just built the sugar house in Lunenburg, and next year I hope to open it up to the public so kids and families can come and if they want to go through the whole entire process, uh, from start to end, putting the pipeline together, gathering the buckets, coming back to the sugar house and running it through the evaporator and going through the filter process, the whole thing. So that's what I hope to do. Jonathan and I own Highland Farm in Lunenburg on Highland Street near North Cemetery. We've been a farm for four years where we raise beef, pork, chicken, Thanksgiving turkeys, goats, produce, and our two daughters, Ruby and Pete. Um, we come to the farmer's market every Sunday morning, 10 to 1, here in the town center. Um, they have great bands every week, delicious baked goods, shag bar hickory syrup, maple syrup, so many different things, so many different vendors, and it's always a very good time.
a participant in the whole thing of Dick's Market Gardens. It's a family fruit and vegetable farm. And um, we've been in existence since the early 60s. And it was started by my father, Richard Violet, and Mary Violet. And we run a farm stand seven days a week from uh, 1st of April right up till Thanksgiving. And what we specialize in is locally fresh pick fruits and vegetables, all the way from radishes and beets, sweet corn, peaches, apples, tomatoes, and another wide range of things that we've learned to grow over the years from customer demand, like fennel and fingerling potatoes. And we also offer bedding plants early in the springtime. Uh, it's a endeavor of love, and uh, we've uh, done quite well here in Lunenburg and enjoy servicing the community. And I have younger children that are starting to come up, and we're going to see if they want to continue the continue the next generation on. It looks like they will. And uh, we're on Northfield Road, and uh, it's a farm stand that goes from eight o'clock in the morning right up until seven o'clock at night. So we'd love to see you come down and experience uh, locally grown fruits and vegetables. Cows. Basically finishing up milking as of right now and they'll be heading out to pasture as soon as they finish. We've been running this farm since my grandfather purchased the farm when he got out of World War II. We've been milking and producing our own milk here since about 2001. We are the fourth generation to sell our own milk and glass bottles, which is produced entirely here at the farm, handled by my father, my brother Garrett, and me, the milk never leaves the farm. Um, we sell it for retail in our own dairy store. Um, we're here uh, Monday through Monday through Sunday. Open nine nine to five Sunday, nine to six Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And we close on Mondays. Come see us. Uh, support local farming. Curtis Stillman. We're down here at Stillman's Farm. We're here on Thursday and Sunday from 11 to 5. Um, we grow some of the produce here. Most of the produce we grow here is for our winter share in our CSA. Um, the rest of the produce comes from my father's farm, which is in New Braintree, Mass. And everything comes in here fresh every day. Um, yeah, so lots of great produce here starts with fruit and a lot of fresh corn that's picked every day and nice cut flowers and lots of great stuff. We're low spray and greens and stuff never get sprayed. The only, mostly what gets sprayed is our tree fruit. And there's also uh, fresh quality meats. There's um, chicken and grass fed grass-fed beef, lots of pork and sausage, all sorts of great stuff. It was started in 1978 by the clearing of the land. My dad and myself started the farm. We plant about 50 acres of cut-your-own-Christmas trees. We had four varieties of trees, blue spruce, Balsam fir, Fraser fir, and Doug fir. 
At this point, we have balsam fir and frasier fir for cutting your own. The blue spruce are probably still three to four years away, and the Maya spruce are approximately the same. In November, if you're looking to cut a tree, we'd love to see you here. You can go on the Mass Christmas Tree site and find other farms if you're not from the local area in your area. There's approximately 102 farms in the Massachusetts area.